Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be going over the Kel, Khalifla, and Kefla new Doken Awakenings. So, uh, we are going to end up talking about the... Uh, I guess this is the Tournament of Power, the opening stage event a little bit. I'm going to do my own separate review of this event. I don't want this video to be too long. I'm estimating it's going to be about 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, typically, my reviews are for three separate cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the three separate cards. The reason this is here is because their Doken Awakenings come from the medals from this event. So again, this is the Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power, the opening stage. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about the uh, medals real quick. The medals for these characters are going to be available on Stage 7, another enthusiastic say in battle. Uh, you're going to get the Kel and Khalifa medals from here. You're going to need 10 of each for Kefla. Um, you're going to need to have, let's see, over here, 10 for Kel alone. And for Khalifa, you're going to need 10 as well. So you're going to need to grind out 20 of each of these medals just to get them Doken Awakened, all right? So make sure you do that. Also, one thing I want to note, Khalifla is farmable. This unit here that's grindable from stage 2 is Khalifla. She will Doken Waken into Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla and can feed into the agility one that you get here. Now, the Kale cannot. This Kale is Kale Berserk. The one that she Doken Awakens from in this event goes to a Super Saiyan 2 Kale. Those cards have different titles. They cannot Doken Awaken. So for those of you who stopped by this video just to see if that had that information, there you go. Let's go ahead and jump into the review. All right, so first off, we have Kale, the Perilous Potential Strength. And we're not going to go over everything of their Undoke on cards in terms of saving time. So we're just going to talk about their leader abilities and super attacks slash passives. Uh, leader ability is physical type key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%. Was not that bad when she came out. Super attack is gigantic impact, which is immense damage, defense minus 30% for one turn. And she gives herself attack plus 100% and guaranteed a second additional with a high chance to become a super. Now, as I said before, she does Doken Awaken with 10 medals, that's available for her now. Uh, when she Doken Awaken, she Doken Awaken at the Vicious Awakening Kel Berserk. So she's still got the Berserk in her name, she cannot be increased her super attack by anything but Elder Kai's. So, or Grand physical Grand Supreme Kai's if you guys are looking to do that. Personally, I think it's worth it, especially with her new passive. Her leader ability is Physical Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. So, for anyone who is looking for those LR stats, or if you're missing one of the physical leaders, this is a great ability, or 120 leaders, this is a great person for you. Yeah, the key, the lack of key kind of sucks there, but you have a lot of good support um, that can make up for the lack of key. Plus, a lot of the physical guys can um, increase their key with link skills. Um, her, she, her super attack does immense damage, as it always has, and it lowers defense. She also loses the um, the mechanic where she lowers her own defense, which is awesome. Um, she does attack plus 120% with an immense damage modifier. That's insane. Launches an additional attack with has great chance of becoming a super attack. Now, her undoken form, high chance for additional is about 50% chance. This version, it doesn't say what it is, but it's over 50%, so I'm assuming it's like 60 to 70%. Um, great chance to become a super attack is freaking phenomenal. Um, but just the fact that her normal super attack, normal attack is 120% with an immense damage modifier is just insane. Her link skills are Battlefield Diva, Berserk, the Saiyan Lineage, Warriors of Universe 6, Prepared for Battle. Oh lord, she got prepared for battle. Tournament, tournament of Power and Shattering the Limit. So she does finally have some good link skills. If you guys ever noticed over here, she really didn't have... Oh, she does have prepared for battle before, so I thought she did not. I apologize. And you notice she didn't have Super Saiyan. That's what she didn't... She still doesn't have that. But she has some good things, especially Shattering the Limit. There's a lot of good units that have Shattering the Limit. So she does link well for key. Uh, the only thing that stinks, as I've noted over here, two key, three key, two key, two key, one key. She has Berserk, which almost no one has, and Battlefield Diva, which is more key. She is a key powerhouse. Oh my gosh, she has so much key. She has, Her key is overflowing. Anyway, Berserk is attack plus 20% with HP, 60% or below. So even if you had units that had Berserk that you can run next to her, chances of it going off are pretty low. Anyway, her max stats are going to be HP of 96.92, attack of 87.91, and defense of 35.13. Now for this unit, I personally would recommend feeding in the dupe system, at least the base dupe system. HP is going to be um, 11,692, attack is 10,791, and defense is 5,513. 
And for max dupe system, it's going to be HP of 15,092, attack of 13,791, and defense of 8,113. Overall, really solid unit, really good leader ability, really good passive skill. She does a lot of damage. She is going to be one of the S tier. I mean, if not A tier, definitely A tier. Um, she's going to be at least an A tier, but definitely an S tier in my opinion for your team, for mono physical team, just because of that damage output and the fact that she gets a guaranteed additional attack, which can be a super attack. Plus, she's a physical unit, so she has built-in doubles. So assuming everything goes in your way, goes your way, you could end up having a triple super attack. I mean, at least one of them is going to crit. At least it should. Plus, she has a lot of keys, so she'll always be getting that off. I guess that kind of makes up for her lack of link skills when it comes to uh, getting attack buffs with that passive skill. Overall, really good. Now, she does link with a lot of good units, but unfortunately, the best units she links with are the other warriors of Universe 6. So, 4 key with Kefla... 4 key with um, Kaba, wow, I was about to forget his name, and 5 key with Khalifla. They have a lot in common, so make sure you go ahead and at least, well, if you're not running a mono physical team, any of these guys will be good for her. If not a mono physical team, which we'll, we'll talk about in a second, Kefla will link very well with four, with 4 different link skills. Unfortunately, they're all key. That is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9 key there. This guy is 2, 4, 6, 8 key here. And Khalifla is 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 key. Oh my gosh. You don't even need a key leader for this girl to get off super attack when these two are linked together. It's insane. Too bad they're not like LRs. That would be freaking phenomenal. In terms of a mono physical team, as I stated before, you have uh, Khalifla over, I mean Kefla over here. She will link very well with Kefla. So, I mean, that's, that's what it is. And if you're not running like a mono hero team, you do have Broly, she has the Berserk, so Berserk is cool, and, th and three key total with him. So at some point, you know, maybe they will both get that off. She is a, well, she was a, originally a mini leader of him, now she's a better leader in my opinion. The fact that she's missing one key kind of sucks, but if you have both of these units, it's definitely going to benefit you in the future. Now we're going to move over to Khalifla, Brilliant Battle Intuition, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. Now this is her Undoken variant. Her leader ability is all types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%, which is nothing to scoff at. Even to this day, that's still a decent leader ability. Uh, her super attack is energy blast, causes supreme damage to the enemy, and defense plus 30% for one turn. And her passive skill, attack plus 70% with a high chance of evading enemies' attack, including super attack, or a medium chance of evading super attack and countering with enormous power. Now, she will Doken Awaken with 10 of her own medals. When she Doken Awaken, she Doken Awakens into Limitless Growth, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. Her leader ability key is the same, key plus 2, but all types now get HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. That's actually a legitimate, awesome leader ability. I mean, if, if that was to come out right now, her Doken Awaken on the global side, I'm telling you that would make the, um, the new EZA event so much more bearable. Unfortunately, she do still only does supreme damage to the enemy, but she does increase her defense for 30% for three turns now instead of one. As you all know, I'm not a big fan of that passive, but what can you do? It's there, it is viable, it's pretty decent, and she will be doing some, will she be tanking a little bit better after a couple turns? Her new passive skill is attack plus 90%, which is not bad at all. It's actually really awesome. Hot, and I think her passive is actually the exact same thing, so there's nothing really to look at there, but she, I mean, not, not, not that there's nothing to look at, nothing better to look at here. Um, her link skills, it looks like she just gets shattered in the limit. She has Battlefield, Diva, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Warriors of Unit 4, 6, uh, Prepared for Battle, Torment of Power, and Shattering the Limit. So, unfortunately, she only has one actual attack buff. It is Super Saiyan, so it's very common, so that's awesome. Um, she's part of Peppy Gals and Universe Survival Saga, and she has max stats of HP of 10,251, attack of 7,859, and defense of 4,398. Now, personally, I don't find any use in giving her any dupe system. I really don't. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys have her rainbowed. I don't know why. She's not really worth it. I mean, uh, even with her new Doken Awakening, attack plus 90%, maybe. Maybe now that she has her Doken Awakening for attack plus 90%. But even so, I mean, personally, I only do dupe system for people who have immense damage. That's just my thing. I, I never use her leader ability. The fact that she does supreme damage is definitely a turnoff for me in terms of dupe system. Attack plus 90% is awesome for sure, especially now that her super attack is farmable to super attack 10. It makes it even better. But even though she has an awesome evade ability, you all have to remember, it's chance. 
for major events, you're not going to take her on the, those major events and hope that she just dodges. I mean, that's just my opinion on the matter. I'm not hating on her. I think she's a really good, solid unit. I like her mechanic, but I'm not going to take her on those major missions when I'm trying to go, like, on something like Easy A. If I was going up against that Broly, I would not go and, like, run Khalifla and hope that her freaking passive goes off to that way she can, that she can um, you know, dodge. That's just me. Anyway, um... Her, her max her max base dupe system, if you want to feed into her, is going to be HP of 12,251, attack of 9,859, and defense of 6,398. Um, so honestly, her defense is actually pretty high, so she will tank well if you give her dupe system for her uh, for her defensive ability in case she does encounter um, or dodge. And then those of you who have rainbowed her have HP now of 14,851, Attack of 12,859 and defense of 9,898. 9,798. Um, she is pretty awesome. 12 key multiplier of 145%. Her tremendous power, power multiplier is 250%. Counter attacks can be critical from hidden potential systems, so that's not horrible. High chance is 50%. Medium chance is 30%. Um, cl clarification Khalifa has a high chance to evade regular attack and super attack. She has a medium chance to evade super attacks. Only at the high chance fails. The medium chance will take in. All right, so that's what it is. Um, again, this is the unit which I will not be going over in this video. That she can be fed to increase to her super attack. She is free to grind. Overall, a really solid unit if you want to grind her out. But again, I'm not going to be talking about her in this. Well, at least the free to play one in this video. Overall, really awesome unit. She's still really good. She has some solid link skills. She has a good leader ability. Uh, I wish she got the immense damage modifier, but you know, what can you do? If she had attack plus 100%, like that extra 10%, I feel like it would have been a little bit better just because she only has one power link build ability, or at least attack increase for her link skill. Anyway, in terms of best linking buddies, um, again, same thing with Warriors of Universe 6, 5 of all. Now, I can go over here if you want to. I can go down to 4. Problem is, she just links with everyone. <laughs> She literally links with everyone because of her freaking damn uh, link skills. I mean, look at these link skills. Um, Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, those two prepared for battle, and Shattering the Limit. Those are the most, one, some of the most common link skills at like for all Super Saiyan. All of them. And then you toss in Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, and Battlefield Diva. Jesus, she, she's literally linking with everyone. Um, in terms of a mono agility team, as you see over here, let's go over and actually see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. So that way you can see it. Um, yeah, there we go. So putting this him up and bring her up. So she's over here right now, and this is everyone she links very well with. Um, this Goku, this Goten, this Gohan, this Kid Goku from GT, the Dokkan variant of Trunks, and this Vegeta. So she links four link skills with each of them. I think it's really all the same thing. It's a lot of just the, the key, all the key links in this one Super Saiyan link. So you're going to get like six key or five, five to six key per unit that she links with here and 10% attack buff. It's actually looking like it's five key for all of them. So, uh, yeah, five key, five. They're, they're all five so far. And last one. Yeah. So, with every single one of these units, it is five key. Opponents, defense minus 10% and a 10% attack buff. You really can't go wrong here, though. This Trunks is not bad when he gets his Doken Awakening. This Gohan isn't bad as a support unit. Um, that's about it. Trunks ain't, I mean, Goten isn't that bad on his when he Doken Awakens. So, she does have some solid units uh, in terms of who she will link with. We can go over here and we could change this down to like three if you want to. But once you once you change this to three, it's like it's all over. Like she just has way too many people that she can link with. I can't even get this to go to three. Freaking site ain't working. Um, that's everyone else who she will link very well. We'll actually have to go through that. But uh, anyway, overall, really good unit, really solid unit. A lot of people to link with. You have a lot of abilities to make a good team. Now, finally, we are going to be talking about Kefla. This is the unit that is just amazing leader ability. Uh, she is the Patara category, key plus 2, HP, attack, and defense plus 120. That is her undoke on a leader ability. Her super attack, gigantic blast, immense damage, and greatly lowers the defense. She is a key orb manipulator, changes intelligence to physical, which is actually so, so useful. Uh, attack and defense plus 10% per key orb obtained. Unfortunately, that's where, in my opinion, where I think that she falls off. She can do a lot of damage. Let me go over here to Dokkan Battle, because I decided to not click it off of it. Um, she was, that's the one place where she falls off, in my opinion. I hate the fact that she has that nuker mechanic. Uh, she does have a medium chance to evade an enemy's attacks, including supers. And she has a chance to launch an additional, or she, she's guaranteed an additional medium chance to become a super. So they took the high ability of both Kale and Khalifla, lowered them both down to medium, and I've said this in multiple videos before, then added them into Kefla as medium chances out of high chances. 
Now, Shidoken Awakens now. 10 of each Kale and Khalifa medals. When Shidoken Awakens, she turns into Dawning Supernova. Wow, that's such an epic name, right? Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Her new leader ability, Patara Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 150%. Now, personally, in terms of leader ability, comparing this to the uh, Super Power Fusion, Super Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta, I personally like hers better. Um, I, I mean, the HP and Attack plus 170 is freaking phenomenal, but the, it's a lot more mainstream. I like the 150 across the board because it makes her makes everyone tank a little bit better, especially because she's a physical unit and want them to tank. Anyway, um, her new, uh, or her new uh, Super Attack Gigantic Blast, is going to be immense damage, greatly lowers defense. Let's see, nothing really has changed there. She now gains an additional 2% per key obtained. I feel like if they bumped that up to 15%, it would have made it a little bit better for her. Maybe it'll be a little bit too overpowered, I don't know. But everything else is the same. Her passive skill is completely the same. Nothing else changes except for that 12% buff to the attack and defense per a key orb obtained. Her new linking abilities are, are essential to shattering the limit. She has Super Saiyan, Battlefield Divas, Tournament of Power, Power Bestowed by God, Fuse Fighter, Shattering Limit, and Warriors of Universe 6. So like her other two counterparts, she only has Super Saiyan and Power Bestowed by God, which is actually specific to her. But a 2500 flat out buff doesn't really do that much considering everything is percentage based, especially with those new ridiculous leader abilities. Uh, overall, not horrible. She has some really good link skills for key. She will always be getting her super attacks off. And, I mean, you really don't need too much when she has that attack and defense plus going up. Um, I mean, you get five key orbs, and that's a that's a pretty decent amount. That's, what, 60% attack buff right there? Plus, you gotta remember, she defends well with that as well. Uh, categories, Peppy Gals, Universe Survival, Saga, and Katara. Max stats are gonna be HP of 92.95, attack of 88.65, and defense of 41.18. Max dupe system is going to be, or max base dupe system is going to be HP of 10,295, attack of 10,865, and defense of 6,118. Honestly, that's really not that bad either. And if you happen to get lucky and got all four dupe paths unlocked, HP of 13,695, attack of 13,865, and defense of 8,718. Now, mind you, she does have the attack, the defense buffs, so she will be tanking a lot better. And she has a 12 key multiplier, 145%. I would like to see it at 150, but 145 is definitely nothing to laugh at. Really good. Uh, the only thing I would really like to see on her, honestly all of them, but specifically her, because of her leader ability, I would really like to see Fierce Battle on her. Unfortunately, she's not going to get that because she's getting awakened from an actual event, not a Dokkan exclusive. But whatever, she's still a really good unit. She's going to do a lot of damage. That key orb manipulation is going to come in really handy for you, especially... I mean, so she essentially, you know how um, that trunks the uh, the old school super leader ability, key plus one, HP attack, and defense plus 70% trunks for intelligence? She is going to be the actual LR trunks' key generator because she's going to link, you know, decently with him, uh, but she's going to be that intelligence to physical for him so that way that, that trunks will be getting off his, uh, his ultra super attacks at LR stage. So really, that's honestly what she's going to be used for. Anyway, let's go over to DokkanBattleBuilder.com. Um, so let's go over here. Let's switch back over to Dokkan Battle Builder View. Her best linking uh, buddies actually happen to be all physical. Um, it's going to be, um, let's see over here. We have uh, Kel, like I said before. Um, we have a Vegito Blue, the physical one, and the physical Super Vegito. Best linking buddies overall for everyone in game. Um, it's going to be a little bit of key and attack buff. So let's see. Yeah, Power Bestowed by God, Super Saiyan for 10%, and 2 key. For the other one, it's going to be the same exact thing. And then for Kel, you have four link skills female fighter breaking shattering the limit universe of warrior six and it looks like the power competition which is e plus three uh power competition is let's see what is that Sh uh, not shattering the limit tournament of power so that's who she's going to be linking the best with um honestly i i think that if you're going to be running this team these two are going to be like primary units that you will probably have on at least the mono physical team, you're definitely gonna have the physical Super Vegito on a uh, power um, or on, on a Patara team, uh, but you might also have this guy over here if you happen to have him over the new one. Uh, let's go over here to all linking buddies, best linking buddies in game. Um, I actually did that backwards, so I apologize for that. Uh, the top ones, as I told you before, I, I really said this a lot. Uh, these three are really going to be the best links because they're giving each other a whole bunch of key and attack buffs. You can't really do anything about that. They're just, they're all there. You could honestly run them all on one team. Unfortunately, it won't be the Batara category team, but they will be all on one team. You do have Karoli, who is a fused fighter as well. We'll link very well with her. You do have the other two fused female fighters. Um, you have, what is this, uh, Pandel, and this is uh, Bullpen. 
bull yeah this bullpen uh, then on the bottom we do have the two super vegetos as you would expect and then the three different super vegeto blues and the undocon uh, lr variant of vegeto so that's everyone who she links very well with for this is three or more of everyone in game so there you have it she's a really good unit she does a lot of damage uh, i'm still really not a big fan of that attack and defense nuke her ability but she will come in handy she really will and you will end up having someone really good to link with that with that uh trunk but anyway, guys, that is the full video. I apologize. I thought this was going to go up to 15 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. I know I ramble a little bit. Overall, really solid units. I will be doing another review of this actual uh, event at some point soon. I just figured the actual card review is a little bit more important than the event because you guys can go into the news and read that yourself. But anyway, guys, stay tuned. I will be doing this. I will be doing the Ultra Instant Goku and the Mastered Ultra Instant Goku along with the Jiren cards. So stay tuned for that while I release that. Thank you for joining me here today. And let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do anything specific. Catch you all later and you have a great day.